Hi, and welcome to Nux Tux Creative Studio. My name is Jonathan, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating how I created this glitch transition. You can add it to titles or to videos. Timestamps are in the description if you would like to skip ahead. All right, let's get started. So over here, I have my project. I'll go back to the main edit and let's break down the anatomy of this transition here. So essentially all I did was cut four frames at the end of my first clip and then cut four frames at the beginning of the following clip. And then I added a series of effects to it to create this transition that you see here. It's very straightforward. So the same stack of effects gets applied to all of the clips to which you would like to add the glitch effect and you can also add it to titles the best part is that you can save this stack of effects as a preset so simply click on the card up here and it would give you this pop-up name it how you want give it a description and then it would add it to your effects under this star here inside of custom you would have the glitch effect ready for use all right so over here we have the pixar the glitchar the RGB split R, the scan line R, and exposure. So let's break it down. The very first one, the uh, Pixar, I'm not sure how to read it, so Pixar, it creates those bands and it offsets them. And you control the intensity of the offset with the first slider. Now this can crash Caden Live, the Pixar, just make sure to bump up your, your block height max a little higher if you want to bump up the block height all right so you control the intensity from here and then you can use the block height to determine the size of these segments and it animates itself so no need to create any keyframes next we have the glitch the glitchar which does something similar as you can see here but it doesn't offset the image as much as the pixar so combining these two gives you this nice effect over here for the glitch all right now inside of the glitch R, you have the color glitching intensity and this is what creates these color you can control the glitch frequency so how often so how much glitching happens so the higher the frequency the more glitching you'll get okay then you have the block height which just determines the size of these strips as well and then the shift intensity and as we've already mentioned the color glitching right so set these to your convenience then we have the rgb split R, right and this simply splits the rgb so either vertically or horizontally you can do both and then we have the scan line scan line r this adds these lines to our footage now what you see in the preview also depends on the preview resolution that you're viewing but essentially it will simply add those little lines but it also darkens our image and this is why finally i added the exposure which brightens the image again so that we don't get such a dark result in the end and once you combine all of these together you get this very nice glitch effect now once we have them again you can create a custom set of effects but if you want to apply it to multiple clips you can simply Control c or command C on a Mac to copy. So with the first clip selected, it will copy all of its properties. And now you can simply select the following clips, right click and then go to paste effects. And it will paste the effects to the next clip and then you'll have this nice little transition. It's as simple as that. Now, if we switch over to the titles, the same thing was applied to the titles with the same method. I would cut a piece of the beginning, then I cut a piece at the end and then I add the same effects. Only thing here is for the titles, I remove the RGB split R and that's about it. So that is how you can create those quick and easy glitch transitions. Now you can always go ahead and add some transform, some lens correction if you want to push it a little further, that's up to you. But that is it for this tutorial.